Hello and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. Who likes unicorns? Me! <laughs> Wait, I wasn't supposed to raise my hand, was I? Um, how about a white-winged unicorn with golden horn and hooves and a rainbow mane and tail? You mean Celestia? No, 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 not the princess. The common-born unicorn, Whisper. Ah. Yes, today we're looking at another book from the Whisper series. Trap of the Hunter, starring Whisper the Winged Unicorn. Story by Jill Wolfe. Illustrations by Katherine Wilson. It was a quiet morning in Rainbow Forest. Too quiet, thought Whisper the Winged Unicorn. She shivered as she walked down the forest path through the fog. Suddenly, two young rabbits shot by, scattering autumn leaves in her face. Well, I never, cried Whisper. How rude. Jonathan, Bixby, what is going on? Run, Whisper, the hunter is coming, shouted her rabbit friends. And now we have a hunter, and that's a very pretty illustration. It's kind of almost, the proportions anyways, are kind of chibi-like. Slightly. They're more rounded and not squished, but definitely softer than usual proportions. Whisper ran after them. Phineas the Nodkin had warned her about two-legged hunters and the harm they brought to animals. Now she thought she heard a hunter's footsteps behind her. She followed Bixby and Jonathan as fast as she could, but they were already far ahead. They did not see the deer by the side of the path. Hurry, Flora, the hunter is coming, Whisper told the deer. Yeah, the proportions of the illustrations so far aren't super standard. They're still good, and they still work well. It's just it's slightly softer, as I was putting it earlier. And the backgrounds are also very illustrated compared to the characters who have some detail to them, but also kind of have a sense of illustration to them. The backgrounds are almost like, I think it's the way they're colored compared to the um, main characters. I can't run, wailed Flora. I have a thorn stuck in my leg. Go on without me. It's a thorn. Run. <laughs> now, if it was stuck in your foot, that would make it hard to run. Yeah, but it's just in your leg, which means you should also be able to reach it and pull it out with your teeth. No, we must save you from the hunter, said Whisper. Hide in those bushes while I think of a plan. But there was no time to think of a plan as the hunter came closer and closer. Whisper ran out of the bushes straight towards the hunter. Her only hope was to take him by surprise. That's something I just noticed in this illustration. There's a little frog in the left-hand corner. Yes, there is. I should say lower left-hand corner. Wow, that guy's colorful. Yeah. Well, you want to make sure that other hunters don't accidentally shoot you. Yeah. When Whisper flashed by, the hunter was so surprised that he dropped his bow and arrow. He stared at the white unicorn with a rainbow mane and a pair of wings. Whisper took off, flying high above the path. The hunter followed below as Whisper led him away from Flora's hiding place. When they were a safe distance away, Whisper soared out of sight. That was close, said Whisper to herself. Her heart was beating as fast as her wings. And I suddenly had a weird thing in my head where the hunter goes, I thought I was in a regular forest. I must have gone down the wrong path. I'm now in my little pony world. But he doesn't look much like the hunter on the cover. Oh. You're right. He also doesn't look too fierce. He looks kind of like a normal guy, not really a fierce hunter. Very surprised. Though his stance is kind of awkward. A little bit. Also, the way the bow is falling, it looks like it's falling from his right hand. Odds are he's right-handed, which means the bow should have been in his left hand. Also, the string isn't taut. No, they managed to remember to do the loops. You can see that on the top. Um, but the string itself is not taunt enough to be useful. Also, the text says he drops his bow and arrow, but we only see the bow falling. All the arrows appear to be in his back quiver. Also, that kind of looks like a sword on that hip. I can see the dagger, but a sword seems a bit impractical for a hunter. Hmm. Whisper circled back to Flora's hiding place. 
You can come out now, she called. Oh, thank you, Whisper, said Flora. You are so brave. You risked your life to save me. I was really afraid, said Whisper, but I think we're safe now. Let's go to Phineas. He can take out that thorn. They walked slowly down the path to Phineas's cave home. Whisper looked over her shoulder often, listening for footsteps, but no one followed them. Yeah, you can see the thorn. Also, the proportions are quite a bit off in this one. They're not really chibi proportions. They just look off. Yeah, and it looks very different from pretty much every other page of illustrations. It's almost like they switched artists for a single page. Mm-hmm. It's like the style changed altogether. Also, she could definitely reach that thorn and pull it out with her own teeth. Phineas, please help us, Whisper called from the clearing in front of his cave. Phineas appeared in the doorway. What's wrong, Whisper? Oh dear, I see. Your friend has a nasty thorn. I'll bring out my medicines. He returned a few minutes later with bandages and medicines. While Flora leaned against Whisper, Phineas gently removed the thorn. He washed the cut and rubbed special roots and herbs on it. As he worked, Whisper told him about the hunter. Wow, his theme changed. He's very Egyptian, I would say. Very Egyptian priest. This is what his patterns and staff, everything reminds me of. It's kind of like that area. Yeah, Phineas is very inconsistent across the books. Even when there is the same illustrator. Phineas, I was so afraid. Why does the hunter want to chase us and hurt us? Phineas sighed. That is a hard question to answer, Whisper. He may hunt for food or just for sport. I only hope he leaves Rainbow Forest soon. As he wrapped a bandage around Flora's leg, Phineas looked very worried. Suddenly, Jonathan and Bixby burst into the clearing. The hunter is coming, they cried. Yeah, the proportions look better in this shot. Phineas looks slightly bit awkward, but overall the proportions are much better in this shot. I was afraid of this. He tracked you here, said Phineas. Quick, everyone, into my cave. Whisper, Flora, Jonathan, and Bixby rushed inside. Poor Flora, why won't the hunter leave her alone? Asked Whisper. I think it's you that he wants, Whisper, said Phineas. He wants to capture you for fame and money. You are worth far more alive than Flora. Phineas was closing the thick wooden door when the hunter shouted at him. <laughs> Sorry, the hunter in this following shot kind of just looks awkward. It looks awkward, period. He looks like he's about to do battle with a dragon. Why would a hunter have a tourney shield? Yeah. What references were they looking at? I don't know. Also, spurs? That implies that he has a horse. Hmm. Because spurs are for guiding and controlling your horse. Not supposed to hurt your horse. You there, listen to me. I'll trade you many animal furs for that flying unicorn of yours, called the hunter. Go away and leave us in peace, replied Phineas. I do not trade in such things. Then I will wait until you do, said the hunter. He sat down under a large tree, took food from his bag, and ate as he waited. Phineas frowned. He can outweigh us, he told his friends. We don't have enough food and water for five. But don't worry, Whisper. We will never give you up. Nice kind of set up there, the usual. Yeah, he can outweigh us. He's one person. Question is, how much did he actually bring with him on a hunting trip? Is it enough for him to sit there? And wait, well, how much does he need? Because he's sitting at rest. Morning changed to afternoon. The sun came out. And still the hunter waited outside. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. I'll give myself up, said Whisper. At least the rest of you will be safe. No, Whisper, we won't let you, cried Bixby. Maybe the hunter will give up. Look, he's falling asleep, Bixby pointed out the tiny window. The hunter was leaning against the tree, his bow and arrow on the ground. Suddenly, a great roar brought him to his feet. Ooh. Also, the bow is actually strong in this shot, 
And that's a lot of, uh, what's that term? Uh, Fletching. Yeah. The arrows, basically all we can see of the arrows are fletching, and that's almost half the length of the arrow. Nobody fletches arrows like that. Yeah, it's almost like they wanted the arrows to be taller in the shots. They told the artists, keep making fletching. <laughs> because it looks like the rest of the arrow inside of the thing would be long enough already if you just trimmed off some of this. And I have a feeling I know who that is. Oh, just maybe. It's Dorian, gasped Whisper. Whisper's huge dragon friend thundered into the clearing. The hunter stared at Dorian's angry eyes, which flashed fire. He ran for his life, leaving his bow and arrow behind him. Everyone rushed out of the cave to Dorian's side. Oh, thank you, Dorian. You saved us from that awful hunter, said Whisper. I heard that a hunter was loose in the forest, explained Dorian. I was looking for him to frighten him away. Yeah, or have him get his knight friends and come back for a dragon. Yeah. Because that guy kind of looked like a knight. Mm-hmm. I don't think that hunter will ever return to this forest, said Phineas with a laugh. Just the sight of a dragon was enough for him. Flora smiled. It has been quite a day. First Whisper saved me from the hunter, then Dorian saved Whisper. Thank goodness we can count on each other when we need help, said Whisper with a sigh of relief. I will never, never forget my brave and loyal friends. The end. Hmm. So, what did you think? Well, you know, a hunter in a magical forest is pretty much automatically a bad guy because the animals are sentient creatures. But this kind of makes it sound like all hunters are bad. Which, depending on your stance... Though Phineas does list off one of the options of food. Yes, that he may hunt for food or just for sport. Mm -hmm. But the hunter offered to trade many animal furs, so he could do furs for clothing or for trade. But we needed a villain, and of course, hunting unicorns is pretty much always a bad thing, so let's do that. As I said throughout the recording in the book, it's a small... Pull it out with your teeth and get moving, Flora. Mm-hmm. But we need something brave for Whisper to do. Also, she still might not have moved very fast with the thorn taken out. And she could have possibly been bleeding even more. It just seems logical to, if you can, remove the object. Yeah, except for those times where they tell you, yeah, bad idea, don't do it. Because it might actually be stopping the bleeding. Which is kind of weird to say. And so if you wonder why we're going, well, Flora should just take out the thorn. Every shot we see of the thorn, the wound is actively bleeding. So it doesn't look like it's stopping anything. Also, I remember even as a kid thinking these illustrations were a bit awkward. Yeah, some of them are really good. Other ones just feel off. Or the proportions or scale on certain things are off. And this has been Trap of the Hunter, starring Whisper the Winged Unicorn. Story by Jill Wolf. Illustrations by Katherine Wilson. Want to learn more about Whisper? We have a whole Whisper playlist. Enjoyed this video in particular? Like, subscribe, comment. What do you think? Should Flora have pulled out the thorn? If you would like a copy of this book for yourself, look below for an Amazon link. If we can find it in print, we'll try to provide a link so that you can get your own copy. Feel like maybe doing some shopping instead? Check out the Ebates link. Sign up and earn cash back on purchases at stores you probably already shop at. Amazon and Ebates are not sponsors of or in any way affiliated with Ember's Reading Room or any content of the Lux Analysis channel.